Hello, you lot. How's it going? Good, good. Well, I've got a little... It's a bit out of my range. Oh, look at what i got. I'll show you what i got. It's an electric lawnmower. It runs on electric, that does. Can you believe it? Electric. You know, you, usually they you put petrol in them. Or, in some cases, diesel. But this one runs on electric. Look, it's got a cable and everything. Um, it's got a cable. And do you know what you do with it? You plug this in. You only plug it into like your house, like a, like a plug socket, didn't you? And, uh, yeah, powers the mower. So you can go and cut your grass with electric. I'll tell you what, bloody... The inventions people are coming up with these days are pretty good. You know, but um, I can't really say that it's my kind of thing, electric. I'd much rather have an engine because you can go wherever you want. You're not tethered to this silly cable, are you? But we've got an electric lawnmower. Now, I was told it works, but... I don't know whether it works or not, it's probably been left outside. So, let's have a look to see if it does work, shall we? Um, apparently, it was... Uh, something hard was struck with it, and now the blade is bent. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep, there we go. You can see where the blade is bent there, and it's. Uh, they've been trying to use it. And it's ripped a hole in that there. Oh, it doesn't matter about that, does it? Oh, yeah, that's fine. So, but, <laughs> all right, we'll get that off, and then we'll bend, straighten that blade out, and then we'll uh, see if it works. <laughs> ah, dear, oh dear. So, fingers crossed. That's the, oh, bloody hell. I'm, I'm opening these sockets right upside down. Fingers crossed. That's the only trouble with it. <coughs> and um. They didn't try and they didn't leave it on and uh, damage the motor or anything, burn it out or anything like that. But we'll find out. Get that bolt out of there. And we should be able to straighten up the blade. Oh. I've been cutting up uh, bits of wire. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, bits of twine or something, garden twine. Got, you know, we've got dog hair or human hair, horse hair, something or other. A load of hair around there. I'm going to get a knife and cut that off, I suppose. Oh no, there it is. It's all come off. Let me get all that off of that. Alright. That looked that bent. Yeah, it's ever so slightly bent at the end. So, that was on there. Alright, like yeah. right, we'll get a hammer on it and straighten it out. Right, there's the twisted side. Probably could do with a bit of a sharpen as well. See if it goes back on. It's light when it goes back on. Oh yeah. Miles away. Could do with a new blade really. Couldn't do with a new blade really, but I'm too tight for that. I don't really know what it is with people. They don't seem to like winding cables up. Look, it's all twisted. What's that all about? Look? Why can't people just wind cables up, you know? Um, wind them how they're meant to be winded. I'm going to have to sort this out before I... I mean, you know what, let's just plug it in. Let's just plug it in and see what happens. Hopefully the motor's not burned out. 
Um, hopefully we, 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 we go. Right, how do you work these fan dangled electronic lawnmowers in? I think I just have to press a button here. Holy cow, does that vibrate? I reckon we're going to have to take that blade off and give it a bit more of a straighten. Alright, back. Give it a little bit more of a straighten up. So let's see what happens now. Holy moly. Alright, you look. I've ordered um, another blade. They're only. I think it was six pound thirty, so I should better get more than that back uh, for selling it, shouldn't I? So got a new blade coming. Right, you lot. We're about two days later now, and I've got a new blade. Look, three pounds, three pounds later, and I've got a new blade. I hope it's the right one. I did search up the little numbers, and they all matched. So hopefully it should fit. So have a new blade, and we'll be well away. Let's go and fit it, shall we? And see what happens. Alright, so, here we go again, let's see how easy it will be to get this up and running, I reckon all it does need is the, bat is the um, blade, um, there's a, a, a same blade, so let's open up this packet, God, bloody hell. why do they make packets like this now, why don't they make packets that you can just open up? Why don't they just not have packets all together? Jesus Christ! There we go. All right. Oh, there we go. One blade. It's the same as our old one. Same length, same size, same everything. Yeah. Sweet. Alright, let's have a look. I don't know if I turn the plug on, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh man. Time to give it a bit of a blowout. Get all the grass off of it. And I can clean it up and sell it. I think what I'll do is I'll take the cover off because there's a lot of grass in there underneath this cover. So if I just take this off, uh, should be able to get all that grass out there and that'll make it look a bit better. Presentation is key when you're selling something. Presentation is definitely key. You've got spiders living in there and all sorts look. If I know the person that this mower came from, cleaning something every now and again, or cleaning the grass off of a mower or wherever, after he's used it, most certainly isn't his thing. So, 
just give it a little bit of a clean up I'll get a bit of elbow grease on it and shine it up in a minute just a bit of um a bit of this elbow grease it's a degreaser do well at shining it up. Bit of degreaser on everything. Degreaser on the outside of the grass box. Don't worry about, I'm not worried about doing the um, the inside of the box or underneath the deck. Obviously I'll make sure it that's clean. But there's no need to go overboard and start cleaning everything. It's just gonna get dirty again anyway. An old microfiber cloth, it's just an old one. Give that a wipe. Should get some of that dirt off of there and make it shine up. Just want to try and make it look a bit better than it currently does. You know, if something's clean, you're more likely to get someone interested in it than if you, you know, if you post it up. For sale, and it's um, filthy dirty. Looks like it's been looked after, then, doesn't it? I think it relatively has been looked after, but not as much as it could have been. On the underwear, that's why it fell down. <laughs> Look at that, that's much better than it was already. Not about to get them stains off, I'd have a bit of a um, bit of literal elbow grease. That's much better. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Lovely. Well, happy with that. It's come out pretty well. Well pleased. I'm currently waiting for some people. They're meant to be here. I'm a person. I'm supposed to be here at half past eight to come and pick up some stuff. I'm meant to be picking up that um, Lawn Boy 4652 deck. I'm going to try and palm off these two strimmers to them as well because I don't want them in there in the way. But they're meant to be in here at half past eight. And uh, they never turned up yet, so hopefully they will. They were meant to be here yesterday, but they're very abrupt and rude, I think, in the messaging. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually turn up. There we go, you lot. Another um, mower fixed and repaired, ready for sale. I was electric, I don't usually do electric, I usually do petrol, but there we go. So if you like that, think about subscribing, because there's plenty more to come. Summer's rolling in, I'm sweating like a pig, because it's bloody hot. I'll catch you on the next one, dudes. Take care, wouldn't you?